Manga Wido. I'm Junta, and I'm a university student. Ever since my friend took me to Comic Con when we were in high school, I got really into this, and I go to all the events. I do buy comics, but my main target is the cosplay. I don't wear costumes, but I really like to take photos of them. As usual, I got here first thing in the morning and started taking photos. Wow! That Shinobu is super cool! I noticed some familiar faces in the crowd. There were guys from our school's cosplay club. Micah, here's some water! You should take a break. It's really hot today. Ooh, her smile is exactly like Shinobu in the anime! She's really cute! Thanks, I will. But unfortunately, she had to leave to take a break. Just when I was thinking, oh well, I'll catch her later, I heard the crowd getting all excited, and everyone started to take pictures at once. Nezuko, can you look this way? Oh my god, that is what you call perfection! She's super cute! I found out what they were excited about. The girl coming out of the locker room was exactly the 3D version of Nezuko! Anyone would go crazy! I also took out my camera and started snapping away. But no matter how much I called her name, she didn't look this way. Or rather, she looked lost? Everyone started to notice that, and people started looking confused. Just then, Shinobu finished her break and came back. Shinobu tapped Nezuko's shoulder and started to do something with her hands. Oh, that's sign language! Hey, it's okay. Copy my moves and look where I look. Nezuko nodded and started to look in certain directions as she was told. Oh, wait a minute. I know her! That Nezuko is Michiru! She's a freshman at our university! She can barely hear, and I've seen her talk with her friends with sign language or apps at university. Right. They're in the same cosplay club. After that, they were posing with other cosplayers in Demon Slayer costumes, and the crowd got even more excited. Alright! I've got great shots! I was really satisfied and went to buy some comics. I went to check the cosplay area one more time before I left the event. Huh? Thought I got enough shots, but I saw a really cool Rengoku. I'm gonna regret it if I miss this. And just when I was about to take more pictures? Huh? Nezuko? I saw Nezuko, or Michiru, through my camera. And that was Shinobu next to her, but I sensed some tension there. Michiru tapped Shinobu's shoulder, but she completely ignored her and left. Michiru was left there alone, and she looked lost again in her costume. Okay, this doesn't look right. I thought for a second and decided to go talk to her, sitting at the bench. In sign language, of course, because she can't hear me. I used to be really into this anime, and studied sign language. It's not like I learned it properly, so I can't say much, but it would help. Are you okay? Are you in some kind of trouble? Okay, I can do this. She looked up and... Oh my god, seeing her this close! She's so cute! Oh no, I shouldn't be staring at her like this! She looked all anxious. She pulled out a pen and started writing. I was told to go home by myself, but my purse is in the locker, and the people from my club have the keys. I lost my phone, so I have no way to contact them. Hmm... Apparently she got left behind. I know some people in that club, but I don't have their numbers or anything. I wasn't sure what to do, so I took her to see a staff member. But when I told him what was going on and gave him the name of our university, he said, Oh, we have a guy who used to belong to that club! And he told us that he would go get him for us. You're in good hands now! Let me go get him! I'll be back in a sec! I told her what he just said in sign language, and she looked relieved. The people from her club came, so I was going to leave. But then something seemed to be wrong again. Micah said that you went home earlier. Yeah, she said that you didn't want us around, so we tried to keep our distance from you. And then we lost sight, so... Wow, I sense some tension here. I stopped to see how things were going, and Micah, dressed as Shinobu, appeared. Everyone asked her, What is this all about? And then she freaked out. Uh, I asked her if I could take a break because I was tired, and she said, You can go home. I don't stand out if you're standing beside me. So... 
Michiru, did you really say something like that? Michiru looked at me all confused, so I went back and told her what was going on in sign language. She turned pale. I never said that. I told her I was glad I could do this with her. I also asked her not to leave me, because this was my first event and I was nervous. She replied in sign language. I thought she was telling the truth, but the members of the club didn't seem to feel that way. Apparently, Micah had been doing this for a long time and seemed to have a voice for everything. The members all looked confused, not knowing who to believe. I honestly didn't want anything to do with this, but I couldn't just watch her be the bad guy, and I couldn't stop myself. Uh, I think Michiru is telling the truth here. I was taking pictures when this person was being all cold to Michiru. They were pictures that I happened to take when I was trying to get a shot of Rengoku. Maika brushed off Michiru and left her with a cold expression on her face. Maika turned pale, and all the members became furious. Maika? What's this all about? Why would you do all this and lie to us? This is so wrong! Oh, cut the crap! What, you can't even hear and you get all the attention? Everyone is her fan! I've always hated her! I was always thinking, why is she still here? You guys are just as bad. You guys used to tell me how cute I am. And then she comes around and I'm useless now? This is crazy! She was still in her cute costume, but she couldn't seem to stop herself. We were all just taken aback from all the words coming out of her mouth. Michiru couldn't hear all this, but she could probably guess by the facial expressions and the movement of Micah's mouth. She looked down, looking sad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. She kept muttering. I don't want any apologies. Just quit. Just say you'll leave this club. Right? You guys are good as long as you have me, right? She smiled and looked around, but no one seemed to agree. Don't say things like that when you're dressed like Shinobu. You're the true demon! I'm going to delete all her photos when I get home. Me too. I never want to see her again. Everyone seemed to be disappointed in her, and Micah finally realized that no one was on her side. Uh, for God's sakes! I hate you people! You freaking nerds! She screamed and ran out of the room. After that, I heard that Michiru's phone was found in the corner of the locker room. Someone said that Micah probably hid the phone because there was no way a person would place a phone there. I've also heard from a different OB that this wasn't the first time Micah caused problems like this. She used to ignore girls who were prettier than her. There's nothing scarier than jealous girls. I decided to become a member of the cosplay club. I thought I was only going to be taking pictures and wasn't planning on wearing costumes myself, but Michiru recommended that I try the Tanjiro costume, and I actually enjoyed it. So I started doing both, taking pictures and wearing costumes. Michiru and I, well, we got pretty close. After six months, she became my girlfriend. You don't know what awaits you in life. Oh, and Micah quit the club. The rumor that she was a loser who was bullying a deaf girl spread throughout the university and... Let's just say, we don't see her around anymore. Apparently someone told the company she was supposed to work for, and she lost her job. I saw her at the career center, but she looked really different from when she was really cute in her costume. It freaked me out, but I guess she had it coming. I'm going to continue to enjoy my time at this club. Oh boy, am I excited for the next Comic Con!